This is section 94 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Ascot Gold Cup by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. The news of Mr. Clemens' arrival in England in June 1907 was announced in the papers with big headlines. Immediately following the announcement was the news, also with big headlines, that the Ascot Gold Cup had been stolen the same day. The combination, Mark Twain arrives, Ascot Cup stolen, amused the public. The Lord Mayor of London gave a banquet at the Mansion House in honor of Mr. Clemens. I do assure you that I am not so dishonest as I look. I have been so busy trying to rehabilitate my honor about that Ascot Cup that I have had no time to prepare a speech. I was not so honest in former days as I am now, but I have always been reasonably honest. Well, you know how a man is influenced by his surroundings. Once upon a time I went to a public meeting where the oratory of a charitable worker so worked on my feelings that, in common with others, I would have dropped something substantial in the hat if it had come round at that moment. The speaker had the power of putting those vivid pictures before one. We were all affected. That was the moment for the hat. I would have put two hundred dollars in. Before he had finished, I could have put in four hundred dollars. I felt I could have filled up a blank check with somebody else's name and dropped it in. Well, now, another speaker got up, and in fifteen minutes damped my spirit. And during the speech of the third speaker all my enthusiasm went away. When at last the hat came round, I dropped in ten cents and took out twenty-five. I came over here to get the honorary degree from Oxford, and I would have encompassed the seven seas for an honor like that, the greatest honor that has ever fallen to my share. I am grateful to Oxford for conferring that honor upon me, and I am sure my country appreciates it, because first and foremost it is an honor to my country. And now I am going home again across the sea. I am in spirit young, but in the flesh old, so that it is unlikely that when I go away I shall ever see England again. But I shall go with the recollection of the generous and kindly welcome I have had. I suppose I must say good-bye. I say it not with my lips only, but from the heart. End of The Ascot Gold Cup by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman